guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valinda, I'm Green Happy Mom and I'm passionate about teaching you to live as sustainable as possible for you and your family. And if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button below and never miss out on my new videos. What are we doing today? Today we're making bowl covers. Because next to helping you live as sustainable as possible, I also run an Etsy shop with several sustainable products and bowl covers is one of them. And let me show you how I make those. Okay. I have my roller knife, my list with sizes and prints I need to make. It's not a long list, but I don't make bowl covers that often, so I thought I'd show you anyway. Um, different sizes for molds. It's just a piece of cardboard, but it works. I'm only making the large ones, and I need my peel of fabric. Let's start with lemons. I want to be as efficient as possible with my fabric, obviously, so I'm just puzzling a bit what works best. Let's just start here. I'm skipping this line of fabric. As you can see, I'm skipping this side because this doesn't have any uh, PL layer. This side, this part, is not properly printed. The good, star, good part starts here, so I have to skip quite a large bit because otherwise the resulting product will not be waterproof. I don't want that for my customers, so I have to waste quite a bit of fabric unfortunately that was the lemon print i'll fold it later uh, this one is not usable not usable these are usable even though i have sufficient small bowl covers in stock i don't want to waste this and i can fit a, a small bowl cover in this piece nicely, so I'm making it. As you can see, it's not a perfect circle, but in the end product you won't notice, so I'm not worried. And I have another mold here. This is the POL, this is a mold for the POL layer for nursing pads. I'm trying to fit as many out of this piece as possible, but I think I have to settle for two. Select a place with a nice print. It's a little more leftover than I would like, but it's, I can't make anything out of the leftovers. So unfortunately, it's waste. Um, we did the lemons, now the cat print. Isn't it cute? With cats? I liked it. It sells well, so my customers like it as well. Again, this side has tiny holes, so I'm skipping it. There's also no print on there, so... It's... As you see, I really try to make an effort in using as much fabric as possible and not wasting anything, but... Trying to fit as many round shapes in a square, it's a challenge. Yep, I have three large cat prints and three large lemon prints. Cutting done. Folding later. 
The sides of the ball cover need an elastic so they fit snugly over a ball. So we're gonna do that. It's the mold. It also has on here how many centimeters? Because I work in centimeters. Of the elastic I need it's 55, 55. It's in the I need six. Okay, the last one is a bit shorter, but I think I'll manage. Yeah, I have exactly no I'm not done. I don't have exactly enough. I have one short for this one, but that's okay. I will be doing that another time because I need to purchase elastic. But first, sewing. As you can see, the sewing machine has black thread in it, and I know most people need to re-thread it, but I use my sewing machine for a living, and I don't want to rely on one. Because usually it breaks on, on critical points, usually during a sale, and then I had to bring it for repairs. And then at least I have a backup. So I also have, so I always have one that has white thread in it and one with black thread in it. So I don't have to rethread it because that's a lot of work. Not difficult, just a lot of work. Uh, lemons. Excuse me. Elastic. Okay, let me set you a little bit closer. Now sewing a bowl cover on one hand is pretty easy. On the other hand, it's quite tricky. Because, as you can see, I put the elastic right on the edge. It's a serger, and the serger not only sews the fabric together. Here is a knife, and that cuts, obviously, because that's what knives do. And if you cut the elastic, well, you have to start over. So it's easy and tricky all at once. It's been a while since I've sewn bulk cover, so let's see how many times I cut the elastic. The tricky part is that I also have to pull the elastic, otherwise it doesn't fit snugly on a ball, the resulting ball cover. That wasn't bad. Finishing the edges, trimming the ends. I cut the elastic a few times, but I never cut it completely in half, which is which is good. I hope this way you can get a better view. And I am still being able to sew. I first uh, stitch a, a few, maybe one centimeter, to make sure the elastic is in place. Otherwise, when I pull, I pull the elastic away right away, and that's annoying. So first make sure it's in place, and then I pull the elastic so it's, it's stretchy, like here. It's kind of hard, because you need to make sure the elastic is close to the edge, and you don't want to cut off too much fabric, but you also don't want to cut the elastic. So you need to you need to pay attention the whole time. Oh, and my other hand needs to pull through the fabric because I'm pulling here, and if I do if I don't pull on the other side, it's not gonna work. Because the beginning of the of my stitching, I didn't stretch the elastic, so it's not stretchy. So I make sure the elastic overlaps a little bit. And now I can cut the elastic because I'm finished. I'm checking if I skip the elastic almost, but it's good enough.
yeah just here it's a little bit but it this this won't go loose so that's no problem Now a big ball cover is rather easy because it almost feels like sewing a straight line and that's not that difficult. This one, well you're making a circle, a smaller circle, it's more challenging. Also I know this elastic is actually a bit too short but I have some left over here that would make it work so we'll see how it goes. You saw I have a little bit too short. Okay. Yeah, where the elastic is double, it's a bit bulky. But it's still functional, and that's the point. Doesn't look that bad. Oh. Yeah, a small ball cover. And I have to do my cat prints. So here I have a large bowl, obviously it's empty, but you can imagine being a salad in here and then you can cover it using a bowl cover. And this is very convenient because it's easily washed and then you can use it again. Opposite to beeswax, beeswax you have to wipe down with a cloth while this can be put in the washing machine. The smaller one, so I'll give you a demonstration for that. And it will keep your food nicely covered and fresh. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're now making your own bowl covers, please let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.